I doing? Hello everybody, today I'm going to be giving you some book recommendations. I apologize for the slight change in my voice. I am not feeling that well. I've got a very stuffy nose, but it's okay. I can still read. The very first trilogy that I'm recommending is the Anna and the French Kiss Companion Trilogy. I'm sure most of you have heard of this trilogy and read this trilogy, but if you haven't read it, this book will get you out of any reading slump. If you are stuck on a book, if you finished a book and you're like, what do I do? You read this book. That's what you do. My personal favorite in this trilogy is Anna and the French Kiss. This book follows a girl named Anna, obviously, and she lives in Atlanta and she really likes it there. Her dad decides to send her to a boarding school in Paris for her senior year of high school and she really doesn't want to go. There, she gets in with this friend group and she meets a boy named Etienne St. Clair and immediately they hit it off and become best friends and maybe something more. But the issue is that he has a girlfriend. It's very cute. These books read like a rom-com. If you want a rom-com of a book this entire trilogy all by Stephanie Perkins just like pick it up and read it in a similar category I'm recommending the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Rennison I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this series on my channel a whole lot recently because I'm reading it currently this book again it reads like a rom-com it's very very funny the first two books were turned into a movie which is currently on Netflix the movie is a rom-com this book follows a 14 year old girl named Georgia and how she's dealing with her crazy family school and boy Boys and best friends. It's really funny. If you like Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, you will love this series because the sense of humor that's in Finding Audrey is very similar to the sense of humor in here. And the very last contemporary I'm recommending is Paper Towns by John Green. This book is my favorite book by him. I've read three of his books. I've read Tiffios, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, and this one, and this by far tops it. His books are genuinely funny. They're really sweet. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie for Paper Towns. The the movie is like okay compared to the book, but if you don't compare, I actually really enjoy it. Next I'm recommending A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This book follows a boy named Connor and he's been dealing with these nightmares and one night after he has one of these repeating nightmares, a monster comes and he tells him three stories. It's a very sad book, so if you want to read something happy, read Anna and the French Kid. This book is just beautifully written. It's well told and everyone should read it. You will be sad. I was sad after I read this. Next, I'm recommending Cassandra Clare's books. You've, you've heard of Cassandra Clare by now, I bet. These two books take place in this world where there are these shadow hunters. Shadow hunters are half angel, half human beings and they kill demons. That is their job, it's to protect the humans or mundanes from demons. The mythology is really cool in these books. If I were to choose a favorite out of the mortal instruments and the infernal devices, it would definitely be the infernal devices. I still love the mortal instruments though, but like this book series topped it. Next, I'm recommending the Sailor Moon manga series. Again, this shouldn't really come as a surprise to you guys because I really love this series. A lot of you have heard of Sailor Moon probably through the anime. I really love this series. It is one of my all-time favorite series. I really recommend it. They're very short. They're very fast to read. Next, I am recommending the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I don't know what that was, but we're gonna go with it. This is another companion series. Each book follows a different fairy tale and a different character. So book one is Cinder. It is a Cinderella retelling. And Cinder is part cyborg. And it's really cool. My personal favorite is Crest, which is the Rapunzel retelling. I have not finished it yet. I still have to read the last book, Winter, which is the Snow White retelling. And Scarlet is the Red Riding Hood retelling. I really have to get to Winter soon. I'm really really hoping that I get to it within this year. Next, I'm recommending the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Riordan. This book follows 12-year-old boy named Percy. I believe he's 12 at the very beginning. And each book like follows a year. My personal favorite in this series is the third one, The Titan's Curse, which is weird, I know. A lot of people, it's their least favorite in the series. For me, it's my favorite. You learn so much about Greek mythology. Percy's voice is just hilarious in itself. And the very last series that I'm recommending today is the Gallagher Girl series by Ali Carter. This book takes place in a boarding school for girls who are training to be spies. 
and it's really cool. It was well done. Our main character, Cammy, her mom is the headmistress of this boarding school. Her dad was also a spy, but he has mysteriously disappeared and no one like really knows where he's at. And so Cammy's kind of wondering like, does she want to be a spy or does she want to just be a normal teenage girl? This series is adorable. It really hits off with book three and I think for most of you who have read this series know that. Book three, it just goes off from there. This is another book slump cure. And that's it for this video. Let me know down below some of your book recommendations as I would love to know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every Thursday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!